Yeah, they're just being very blunt here. I think they they heard me talking shit. This this episode is literally just called the Vat of Acid episode. I mean, that's uh, respect, guys. Respect. Anytime I didn't make a shitty pun. Anytime I hear Vat of Acid, I always think about the old Adam West Batman. Oh my God, one you're of, right. One of the cliffhangers is they're about to get dumped in vats of acid, and you're like, well, Batman and Robin, they're dead now, and then they pop out, and he's like, I'm so glad we remembered to wear our acid-proof capes. <laughs> like, that's going to keep you from, you know, but whatever. And then, of course, uh, yeah, there's so many cliffhangers like that. And, it's just, and, yeah. And that There was one, they, were, they said, yes, the the armbands that are keeping you tied down to the train tracks are literally bombs. See if you can try and cut through those bombs. And Batman just literally just like, just like pulled his arm out, and he's just like he's like Robin. It's like Robin. I wore my super slick my uh, super slick gloves today so I could slip out from, uh, slip out from the trap. It's like, what? Oh gosh, but yeah, all in writing a... back then wasn't exactly. Uh... It wasn't five, the best. Five star, you know. <clears throat> Although I will say this, Bill Finger, the man who co-created Batman, uh, did write one of the episodes, and it's actually considered one of the better episodes. I will watch the crap out of the old Adam West Batman. Oh, like, absolutely. I, I don't even care. It's, it's campy as hell, yeah. and I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got Cesar Romero as the Joker, who does a great... who, you know, That Joker laugh, everyone borrows it in some way. And then, of course, you have Burgess Meredith, as uh, the penguin, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Overall, I, I just think Rick and Morty at this point they're just like, you know what? People are expecting stuff from the title. Let's just literally tell them what's in the episode. At least that's what I think they're doing. I don't know until they don't have a vat of acid at all, like the Atlantis thing. Yes, this is probably going to be like flower fields or some shit like that. Anyway, this is Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 8, The Bat of Acid episode. Is that a cyborg grab? It was a cyborg grab. <laughs> the priest got a dislocation and placed a vat of fake acid amongst the real ones. It's got air hoses and a compartment of bones at the bottom. You know who I am? Morty, he's right. We're screwed. Let's just end it. Quick death. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. God. Holy shit. I can't get my head around it. I... I thought I'd seen this galaxy at its darkest. This, this is gonna take a while to feel normal. Take your time, boss. We'll stay here as long as you want. Absolutely. I got nowhere to be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Bad idea, Rick. Bad idea. Good job. Good friggin' job there, Is bud. this gonna be the whole episode? <laughs> They're just sitting there listening to these guys, like... <laughs> just just talking, just like... like seriously, boss. Oh, no! Great story, boss. Really detailed. Yeah, well, I got a million of them. Take that ladle, grab a spoonful, and put it in the analyzer. Wow. Okay, I'd say that's pretty acidy. Drop them in. What are you doing? You said not to rat the guy. Alright, that tears it. I'm canceling the rest of my night and calling a bone scientist. Jesus fucking Christ, enough already! <laughs> Can we go? Yeah, I never noticed the detail that Rick doesn't wear a seatbelt. What he does. No such thing as a bad idea, except all of mine, right? What about my video game style place saving device? It's a good idea, Rick! A device that lets save you- Save your place like in a video game, but in real life so that you can try stuff and then go back to your save point. Yes, Morty, I saw it on Futurama. Oh, do you have any idea how much fucking work would have to go into a machine uh -huh. that- Ah-ha! You can't do it! I can do anything, Morty. Your idea is not worth doing. You can't do it. Well, you can't do it. There is nothing I cannot do. A place saving video game thing. You're a piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> you won't Fuck be. you! Fuck you! <laughs> so are you gonna... Yes, I'm gonna fucking do it! <laughs> I'm good? Thank you, Morty. Sounds good. Or maybe I'll just kill you. What? Whoa, <laughs> Because I fucking did it! Oh, oh yeah! Holy shit! No, oh god. 
Get a more run and go, Morty. There you go. Ah. Oh no. Not worth it. <laughs> oh shit, suicide by cop. I love these. What the fuck? I'm going to pay for your friendship, heroin keep. Heroin keep. <laughs> no, Grandpa. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Relationship. And no. Oh. <clears throat> oh hell. Oh. Oh no. Shit. Did he lose it? Was even in the tail end of the plane, or was... Oh, no. They're gonna donor party this thing? Was that the last time you used it right before they met? I think so. Jerry, no! Jerry, no! No! <laughs> oh no, that was the new point. Oh no! Oh no, he's gonna run! Oh god! That's a beautiful thought, Morty, but, uh, no, there were definitely consequences. Oh. I mean, you did everything you did. It all happened. It wasn't so much a do-over as it was isolating a moment in time, splitting your probable selves, and shunting you into a near duplicate. Oh, no. Reality, transporting you Multiverse. into a moment of parallel determination. There was already a you in each probable dimension. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> right, you lose yourself. How many did I kill? Tell me, Morty. Every time you reset the smell of Jessica's hair, every time you relive the satisfying fart, that's how many Mortys you've incinerated, you greedy little junkie. Oh, God. I'm afraid it's too late for that, Morty. <laughs> it's done, is done, but it can end. The original split is still time-stamped. I can make it so those Mortys never existed at all. But you can merge the probable realities so that only one Morty did them. So, so you're not even my Rick? Then, then why do you know about the vat? Every Rick has a vat! <laughs> I was just having fun. So was Jeffrey Dahmer. Speaking of, oh, yeah. Wow, it's like a SWAT team, some drug dealers, some grassroots Me Too activists, the ACLU, Jesus, Morty, the AARP, <laughs> the NAACP. Morty, is that Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor? Seems like there's no way out of this one, unless. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is, uh... Wow! <laughs> you petty <laughs> bastard! That is good kiss. <laughs> that bat is full of acid. It'll melt you completely, leaving only your bones. God damn it. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Return the whales. Oh, what a tragedy. <laughs> this... oh, God. Oh, God, no. I'm acid proof. Fuck all of you. Acid proof. Jesus God. Wow. What a petty asshole. A bat of acid. Dude. If only Morty, you could hop in this vat of. <laughs> 
son of a bitch. <laughs> Gotta be my favorite episode of Rick and Morty now. Dude, that fucking journey Morty went on with that girl. Man. And then all of a sudden... We, we don't even know her name. No, we don't. Like, oh, my God. Like, just all of a sudden, horrible plane crash. And then a desperate journey to the tail of the plane. Has the button right there to reset everything. He's like, you know what? I want to move forward with this. 911. And then they get rescued. Jerry. Fucking Jerry had to ruin it. Yep. And then Morty ruined it by trying to explain the whole thing to her. And then her thinking he was a creep and... S- God. Yeah. Should have known, dude. Yes! You don't just try to explain that all that happened to somebody. You sound like a crazy person. No! You have to redo it the way you did it the first time. Instead, learn from the mistakes and that... And this time, just don't buy the plane tickets. Yeah. And also, and also pay, you know, keep in a, keep in a stable relationship with her... To the point where you don't have to take a one last chance desperate trip to Alaska to try and save your relationship. Also, do not accept the save your life thing unless Rick gives you the option to have multiple saves. You got a point. Multiple save slots always. Multiple Yeah, yeah. God. Play Resident Evil 2 on the hardest difficulty in one save slot. If, If it's your first time ever doing it, tell me what happens. Tell me why. Which happens. you mentioned that Chad's playing that on Twitch. Oh yeah, I, I got on it. I was like, I recommend making multiple save slots. Yes, multiple. Because like, he was saving over the same one. And I was like, you should probably Don't make more than that. one. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. It's a game where it's really easy to get yourself stuck. <clears throat> yeah. Or at least stuck trying to fight a boss with a knife, which is not fun. New. No. If you're not really, really damn good at it. <laughs> Johnny Carson. Our next guest, the impervious. To acid. <laughs> so here he is. He's here to prove it. Let's welcome this guy. Oh no! Eat my ass! I did Boys. not know that ass was on the menu. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! This oh is yeah! Good. <laughs> Looks like I'll be eating ass flambe. <laughs> Please kill me. You know, <clears throat> I just love that. The, it's like I'm acid proof. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'll be having ass flambe. <laughs> God. You know, I went back and I watched like Johnny Carson's highlights. The, the dude was a class act. The dude was awesome. But yeah, overall, I, God. The, this episode, dude, it, it it's just it presents you with a base moral, like a base concept. It's like, hey, it's the Vat of Acid episode. Now, every time I'm gonna think about this episode, it's gonna be like, what was that episode called? Oh, that's right, mm-hmm. Rick and his fucking Vat of Acid. Because... I think they named it that way because they knew it was a good concept. And they yes, were, this is gonna be a favorite episode probably. So we'll just let people call it what they're gonna yeah. call it anyways, which is the Vat of Acid episode. Yeah. This is up there that this season. This is like my favorite episode of this season yeah. with the one the the meta train. I think this might be my favorite episode so far of the whole series. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's quite a few I I'd have to like I I'd have to put up there. But in terms of this season, this is up there. This is probably my favorite. It's up there with the meta train cuz the meta train just kept going and going and going. I could, didn't know what to expect from it. <clears throat> but this Definitely didn't expect that, but you know what? Maybe that's the point. Because this was just... Sheesh. That, like, that... I I watched the uh, one movie uh, with... Uh, it had the... I forget the... I think they were Chilean. The Chilean uh, soccer team. They got stuck in the mountains. And they... Uh, they had a radio on them, and they could hear, like, where, like, where the... Like, they could receive transmissions, but they couldn't send transmissions. So, they heard on the radio that the search for them had been called off, and they pretty much gave up hope. And it pretty much went full Donner Party, you know, they, there were, I think, 63 survivors of the plane crash, and I think only 20 came back from the mountains. Uh, after they, uh, you know, after someone made the, made the, the climb down... To civilization and told them exactly where they were and yeah it was yeah that <clears throat> I, I remember the movie had ethan hawk in it. it was really it was really good and really just 
heartbreaking because it's just like you feel for these guys. But yeah, well, it is what it is. The Donner Party. That's that's all. That's one that people always look at throughout history. And it's like, you know, it, it, humanity. The desperation we go through to survive. It can get dark sometimes. I mean, when you abandon all forms of all forms of what is considered humane just to survive, it's it's kind of terrifying what we're capable of. Cue that one random person in the back with the picket signs. Cannibalism is a choice. Self cannibalism, maybe. Hey, if you want to eat yourself, have at it. Gobble, yeah, gobble yourself all you want, but. If the other person's not willing, I mean, yeah, that's not right. I'm pretty sure the Donner Party, they ate people that were already dead. Yeah, yeah, but you also have to think, it's like, when you're star, like, I've heard, like, stories of, like, desperation. There was a guy who was stuck in a pit in Vietnam for years, or for, like, not years, but for, like, he was in Vietnam for years, and he was stuck in this pit for the better part of, like, six months, and they, like, threw him scraps. And they uh, threw him, uh, they had someone else down there, and he said the entire time he was looking over at that person, he wanted to kill them and eat them. But thankfully, you know, saner heads prevailed, and eventually they got rescued, but they were both so malnourished. He said that he was, so, like, when they rescued him, they said he was so malnourished, he couldn't even lift a stone to 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 hit anything. So, yeah. He thought about it, but was he physically capable? Not likely, no. But, again, sheesh, some hardcore stuff. Ah, well, this uh, vat of acid was brought to you by Rick and Morty. <laughs> and uh, next time, you'll just go along with it and stay in the damn vat, Morty. I mean, even though it kind of was a stupid idea. But oh well. <laughs> Rick, I know you. if you're watching this, Rick, I'm sorry. I'll 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 jump in the vat of acid. I thought it was a hilarious idea until until it started backfiring. Like it's like there's obvious flaws with it. Like no, throw the rat in there, and he's like, I just like it's like like whittle bones on the fly because he's like, I didn't think about throwing a rat in here. So dude, you think about everything. Like, do you want to do you want to test it with a ladle? Oh no, I brought my own. Yeah. And then Morty, he's like he's like stupid thing. Why is it? Oh shit! And he shot the guy. Oh my gosh, this this show is nutty. And we are two episodes away at where I, <clears throat> from being finished. Wow. Never did I think we'd make it this far. Also, like, <clears throat> kind of spaced there in the la very last scene. Did he tell him they were going to a different reality? Because yes, they going? were going back to a reality, their home reality. Because yeah, this like, reality was a... The, so reality... the whole acid thing, like, he didn't even have to do that. He could have literally just taken him back to their own reality. Yep. So fucking asshole. <laughs> he is. Yep. He is a so massive asshole. Take back your own reality, but first you got to get in the ass and do the acid thing and admit that it's a good idea. And it's like petty. That like the level of pettiness that that dude has is <laughs> astronomical. Like he wants, like he wants to be proven right. Like no matter what. And he doesn't care who he has to sacrifice. I think when they're coming up with ideas for this, they think about something goes. What is the pettiest possible scenario you could? Think. And Justin Ruins like, I have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. This was Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 8, the Vat of Acid episode. We hope that you enjoyed, and we hope to see you all in the next one. And until then, stay safe. I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. Peace out.